I want to discuss motivation for small business owners. If Mr. Beast can get hate for what he's doing, mm -hmm. you best believe you're going to get hate. So my thing to that is don't listen to it. Right? Good point. We've talked about it before. We used to see it a lot at our previous job, right? For the viewers, we used to work at a place that was in a very good part of Vegas. Every person that came into that gym was doing pretty well with their life. Yeah, okay. Sure. Success is all subjective. So what do you consider success? I would consider success, you know, not just money. I'm saying... Time freedom, location freedom. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And the people that we used to be around had that. They had families. They made more than enough money to be happy. That sort of thing. You will never see a successful person hate on someone that is trying to be successful. The only people that will ever hate on you as if you are someone that's coming up, the only people that ever hate on you will be people that are unsuccessful and don't know what it takes. So genuinely don't care. Yeah. That's my point. Don't care. Just straight up don't. Yeah, because even, I look, I see it a lot of times in our conversation. It doesn't bother me none at all. In fact, when I see hate comments, I honestly start to get a little happy because I'm like, okay, I appreciate you. I appreciate it. I don't care what you just said, but I appreciate you because you just yeah. pushed this video a little bit more. Exactly. So thank you. Because, right. again, if you don't have haters, you're not doing something right. Right. Yeah. It's like you said, successful people will push you and egg you on to do what you're doing. They know what it takes to get to where they are. And they see you putting in the work. They're going to motivate you for it. And I think people get in their comfort zone. Yeah. And so when they do that, they they kind of sort of throw like a reflection of themselves. Like, yeah, you know, like they project. They literally they project, project. Yeah, literally into the comment yeah. section. So. You know, that's what I think about it. So that's why it's like you can't take these opinions that everybody has outside of you. You can't control them. Yeah. So might as well just control your emotions, go about living, and keep on doing what you're doing because eventually you're going to find success. In what, yeah. You know? And that's the thing, right? You do not, if you're a small creator, you will not see successful people commenting on your post. You, because 99% of the population is unsuccessful. So all you're going to get is hate comments. But that's fine. See, that's the thing, right? You're built for this, right? You're built for this because you laugh at the hate comments. You say, thanks for comment. Not everyone's built like that. And in my opinion, we've talked about this previously on the show. There's a lot. Actually, I don't know if we mentioned on the show, but your quote. Well, I'm sure you got the quote somewhere else. But the quote that you like, which is uh, the richest place is the graveyard. Oh, yeah. Because there's so many people mm -hmm. that aren't built for social media. That just get tons of hate and quit even though their idea was incredible you just had a bunch of bums that end up getting into their mm -hmm. into their mind yeah it's literally the mindset that you know that it's a certain person that has to have that certain yeah. mindset in order to achieve everything that they want to do so i think it just goes all back to the mentality and everything how you view uh you know yourself and then you you know if, if you don't view yourself in a good aspect you're going to reflect that upon other people that are trying to come yeah. up you know exactly plus like you said there's you know it's a certain mentality but just because you hear let's say you're not in a spot you're like you're still afraid of fighting your dream like chasing your dreams you're still like i can't do it right mm -hmm. what he just said was you it's a certain mindset right you can find that mindset just because you don't have it right now there's not certain people that are built for this Every person that is built for this grew into it. They already have that. They have that mindset. They developed it. You can develop it too. There's nothing stopping you. Yep. So I just think some people also along that same front hear people talk about, oh, you have to have this mindset. Certain people can do it. Certain people have that mindset. But it's like those certain people used to not have that mindset. You know what I mean? So right, you can right. also develop it. Well, it's, you know, how I see it is or how I was taught and when I watched videos and everything, is that you start with the small wins and that builds momentum for the big yeah. wins. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that also sets the discipline for yourself to conquer the tiny things, you know, like fixing your bed or, or whatever it is. And then you'll be able to then, you know, 
work on the bigger successes that you have in your life. Yeah. And I mean, that was a lot of uh, content creation talk due to comments and stuff, right? But like that also applies to small businesses, right? True. Just because you're getting, there's small businesses are different, especially if you're not a social media type of brand. So, but there might be people in your life that are hating on you, right? They're, it's not like hate, but it's people saying like, oh, are you sure you want to put that much time into it? Oh, okay. like you got to make sure you have the rest of yourself. No. Everybody that is telling you not to put your full effort into a dream is only telling you that because they didn't. They are afraid of you failing. Yeah. Why, why are you allowing their fear of failure to affect you? No, put your full time and effort into whatever you're doing. Screw it. You see, there's the, I think, I can't remember. I want to say Kobe said it. I probably mentioned this before about how, why shouldn't you put all your eggs in one basket? Yeah. Do it. Put all your eggs in one basket. What happens if you fail? Go get more eggs then. Life is going to go on regardless. It doesn't matter if you fail. Go get more eggs. Get back up and keep going. Keep trying. You don't know because all you, yeah. every door you open and every door you go through, even if there's a lot of no's, no, next door, no, next door, no, you're going to get eventually, that door's going to open up and it's going to say, yeah, come on. You're going to, you're going to succeed eventually. Just keep going. Don't just, oh, I'm going to try a little bit and if I fail, oh, well, at least I didn't put my full force into it. At least I didn't waste much time. Who cares? Yeah. But what happens if you did yeah. put your full force? You wouldn't have failed, right? Right. And see, it's only failure if you look at it as failure. You never learn from it. It's if you learn from it, then it's not a failure. It's a lesson. Always learn from your failures so they're no longer failures and keep going forward so you can adjust your strategy. Like when you, like when you in your stock market and stuff, yeah. you got into it, adjust your strategy and go back in. Don't give up just because you got a, a no or, or because people are hating on you and stuff. You will find. Seeking you a find, right? If you want to change your mindset, look how to change. Look at how you to change your mindset. Look, start looking into it. And if you say, "Oh, well, I want to," but you're not going going looking for it, then you don't really want it. Yeah. It's all about how bad do you want something. That's what's gonna put you. If you want to change your mindset and you truly want to, and you have a why behind it, you will go look for it, and you will find a way to change that mindset. And eventually, you're gonna start seeing results from it. It's it's hard to change the muscle. I understand that. We talked about it, what was it, last week or something about, um, not last week, maybe the week before that, about the three things, mind, body, and soul and stuff. The easiest things to target, physical, and then the mind, and then spiritual. The mind is a hard spot to target. I understand that. But your why has to carry you in all that you do. Because if your why is weak, your foundation is weak. And it will crumble in a heartbeat. Yep. Yep. That's 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 my that's my say on it. I'm sorry. I know I went off on a tangent. Well. I'm sorry. You killed it. You killed it. Hey, you killed it. 